Hello everyone, this is Wes with Buddy RC. Today we're going to show you how to access the OSD man menu from the Speedix S250 Pro. Um, show you around the OSD and then we'll also show you how to get rid of that low voltage warning light for those of you that are running uh, 3S batteries. So first we're going to go ahead and make sure that our multi-order, our quad, has the props uh, off. Uh, this is going to be a very important step because we are going to be messing with the throttle and there's going to be a couple cases where you may accidentally activate the props. So we're going to use a Glacier battery to power up our quad. And then we're going to power up, we're going to power up our goggles so that you guys can see and re record the video so everybody can see what we see in the OSD. All right, once we access the menu, we're gonna be using the, the pitch to maneuver through the screen. We're gonna be using the ailerons to maneuver left and right. And then we'll also be using y'all left and right in order to change settings and also to maneuver through the screen. Okay, in order to access the OSD menu, we're gonna go up to 50% throttle. We're gonna y'all to the right, and then we're gonna pitch forward. And what this does is it brings up the OSD menu and shows us everything within the, in the settings that we can change. Now, you, as you can see, we can go through this and actually change uh, the role, the pitch, the PIDs, um, the GPS. We really don't have to worry about the, the strength of the leveling. And to do that, we just hit forward, we pitch forward, and we can maneuver through the screen here. Let's just say we want to go up and change the uh, roll P. So then we'll pitch forward till we get up there, and then we're going to roll left, roll left, and that gives us the, uh, the pitch P setting. So in order to change this setting, we're going to either y'all right or y'all left, and this will change our piece. Now we can go through each one of these settings and change each one if we choose to. Y'all right, y'all left. And when we're done, we're going to scroll right back down by pitching back until we get to the bottom of the page. Now, to move from page to page, we're going to y'all right, and we'll make sure that our throttle is in the 50% area, or it will exit the menu and start uh, uh, activating the motors. So 50% throttle, y'all right, and here you can see by pitching forward, we can change uh, pitch rate, y'all uh, rate, roll rate, we can change the expo, the RC rates, um, and then we can change, say, our TPA, and we can change our TPA breaking point. Now we're not going to change any of these. If we would choose to, we would just y'all right or y'all left. All right, we're going to go back down and highlight page, and we're going to y'all right move over to the voltage screen. Now this is where we're going to go through and change so our warning doesn't pop up when we access uh, turn the quad on. For the people that are flying 3S, as soon as you plug in, it's gonna pop up and say low voltage. So we're gonna pitch forward here. We're gonna change this here by yawing right or left. We're flying three cell. We're gonna go up here to the main voltage alarm and right now it's set for 13.2 volts. We're gonna change that down. We want the alarm to actually pop up at low voltage, uh, somewhere in the area of 11.1. .1. And you can set this to whatever you want. Um, we're gonna scroll down. So 111 is 11.1, .1. 112 is 11.2. Either one of those will work. Um, and then from here you can change you know, some of the other settings we can take and not uh, turn the display video voltage off. And pitch backwards bring this back down the page. Now as you scroll through here you can see there's a few other menus we can go through and change things such as the RSSI, uh, the, uh, whether we want to display amps or milliamps, uh, use a voltage sensor, adjust the amps. Next screen we can go through and change what we want to display on the screen. Now factory it has horizontal or the horizon turned on. Uh, I've turned this off just because I don't like it in the middle of the screen, so we're going to leave that off. 
And we're going to roll right back down here to page. You all right? And the, you can actually change the video PAL. Um, I suggest not changing from PAL to NTSC because as soon as you change it from PAL to NTSC, Time remaining. One minute. all the videos on the screen changes in the letters to where you can't read it. So you can't come down here to save and exit. It won't let you because you can't see where it's at. So go through the page. And there's some other, other settings here you can go in and change. So that's how you get through the OSD on the Speedix S250 Pro. We're going to go down to the bottom here, y'all left. Then we're going to roll left, and you'll notice that the arrow goes to save and exit. Now we'll y'all right to save and exit. You're out of the screen, and you're good to go. You notice that the 12.3 battery voltage is no longer flashing. Thanks for watching. Thank you.